Hello everyone, welcome to yet another session of College Dunia's Thoughtful Leaders. I welcome Mr. T. V. Reddy sir from St. Peter's Engineering College for College Dunia's interview today. Welcome sir, welcome to the interview. Let me just start with your introduction sir. So, Mr. T. V. Reddy sir is the current secretary at St. Peter's Engineering College, Hyderabad. He has over 30 years of experience working in the educational sector and over 12 years of experience in managing college education. He is an eminent educationalist in Telangana and made an outstanding mark in the field of education with passion for excellence and commitment for the past 14 years. And also he has developed some uh, 14 years the Santana Educational Society and we are very glad to have on college in your platforms. Hello. So, sir, uh, coming to the interview, let us just start with your uh, work into education sector, sir. What motivated you into the education sector? Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, TV Reddy, uh, Secretary of Shanta Education Society and correspondent of St. Peter's Engineering College. Uh, what motivates me to come into this field? Uh, basically, when uh, I was very young, you know, uh, this, uh, the parent uh, education society of uh, St. Peter's Educational Association in Warangal, they have started it in the year 1980. Uh, uh, That's almost uh, 42 years ago. And it was a very, very humble beginning. I was too young at that time. Then I was motivated to join that. And then the 87 was my first appointment in St. Peter's group of institutions. Uh, since 87, 1987 onwards, I've been working in this organization. And uh, 2000, I've come to Hyderabad. We started uh, St. Peter's High School. And uh, 2007, we started the St. Peter's Engineering College. At the time, there were very few engineering colleges in Telangana. I think if, my, if I'm not wrong, both Telangana and Andhra put together, we had 270 colleges in that year. And uh, we thought there is acute shortage, so we started it. Of course, in 2000, uh, by 14, they have blown up to 700. That's a different story. So when we started, it was very, very less. And um, since then, we've been growing uh, in leaps and bounds. And then in between, you've got uh, the increase in intake, then um, uh, the NBA for the groups eligible, and then NAC A grade. And then, of course, uh, last three years back, on uh, this St. Peter's Engineering College is an autonomous college under uh, UGC for a 10-year period till 2030. And sir, what is the latest program that you have introduced which helps the students outperform and stand apart from the crowd? Last uh, three years, uh, I think 2020 onwards, the AACT has uh, observed that uh, the conventional courses like CSC and IT are not enough for the industry. Uh, for that matter, for other uh, core branches also. However, for computer science related branches, sir, uh, uh, AACT and UGC have uh, thought and then they have introduced emerging courses. Courses which are related to the industry, courses which are related to the immediate appointment, employment opportunities and which are an in thing in the, in the country and of course pan uh, all over the world. And they have introduced some courses, uh, 6 to eight, 10 courses were introduced in this last 3 years. And uh, we at St. Peter's have introduced uh, the best course that is uh, computer Science and Engineering in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. That's called CSC in AML. And we have also introduced uh, computer uh, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. And the last group that we have introduced was Computer Science and Design. And of course, uh, AACT has given some other branches like uh, Cyber Security, IoT and all those things, which we didn't find it very exciting. So these three branches we opened at St. Peter's Engineering College. And sir, what are the factors that make this program best for students to offer? Yes, as I told you, uh, uh, the industry is changing and uh, they require few things which are not taught in the regular curriculum of CSC and IT. That's why they have introduced these new courses, especially most of the companies are now working on artificial intelligence basis and machine learning uh, and of course, other uh, things. So these courses that we have taken, AML, ADS, Computer Science and Design, are the in thing. And companies don't need to train our students extensively 
uh, when they take our CSC and IT students. So that's why they will be opting that when they pa- pass out in the year 2026 or 27, companies can directly recruit them and then with a very short training period, they can employ, uh, put them on a project. I think that's the uh, speciality of these courses. And sir, also while training your faculty, what are the challenges that you have faced and how are you training your faculty for delivering this new curriculum? The biggest challenge pan India is uh, teachers empowerment or teachers training in these emerging courses. Uh, if you look at the teachers who are teaching our computer science that is CSC and IT courses, their post graduation was C- uh, MTech CSC, MTech software engineering, MTech IT or something like that. But we never had MTech in artificial intelligence, MTech in emerging uh, technologies like you know. Um, machine learning, MTech in uh, data science, all these things were never there in our country. Now they have just started along with these things. So might be another two or three years, we will be getting uh, MTech in cyber security, MTech in artificial intelligence, machine learning. No. As of now, we don't have those people, either from private sector or from government sector. So the biggest challenge Pan India is to train these teachers, to teach, the same teachers will have to teach the new emerging courses. So we at St. Peter's, what we've done, it's approximately 80% will be the same syllabus, 20% to 30% will be in the pure uh, a new domain, like, you know, as I told you, artificial intelligence, machine learning and uh, data science and other things. So what we have done, our teachers, we have trained them uh, internally and externally. We are also encouraging them to attend various FDP programs. Uh, and we have uh, asked our faculty to learn from our online uh, platform, uh, St. Peter's Engineering College is tied up with Coursera. It's uh, almost world's renowned, uh, renowned online platform. So they have done courses through them. And we have also tied up with, uh, um, what is it called, NPTEL, uh, which is the state government, central government's uh, scheme under uh, uh, t- uh, online MOOCs and all those things. So our faculty have taken training from them and they have written those examinations, they have qualified and such people are now doing it. Apart from this, we are also tied up with the industry specialized people. Now, it's recently they have introduced a professor of practice. That means a highly reputed people in the industry, even though they have not done their PhDs, they are authorized to come to engineering college and be equivalent to their PhDs. These are the ways we are trying to fill in the gap. And also, sir, how do you tend to build the industry connect in terms of placements with these programs? Yeah, uh, as I just uh, told in my last response, that we now started. Uh, there are two ways to get the industry people here. One is through professor of practice. People are already uh, in the IT field uh, who have reputed 15 years and above service with their expert uh, experience and expertise they will be able to teach our students once in a while or a particular curriculum. Second thing is our board of studies and our um, um, council, uh, are we, we, we have industry people with us, right from all departments, computer science, electronics, electrical, mechanical, civil, all those subjects. And every of these departments, we have got somebody from the industry. So those industry people will be connecting to us and telling us this is the curriculum which your students are supposed to have by the time they come out. And the board of studies will pass those things. We will include those in the curriculum. And our students and these people industry who are in touch with us, they'll be doing their internships with them and with, of course, others also. And that's the way we develop a rapo. And these internships are again uh, converted into placements. And also, sir, what kind of projects the student will be getting to work on and what kind of placements are you providing uh, to the students for these new emerging courses? Projects are anyway, again, two things. You know, One is uh, live projects that they do mini projects at the end of three, third year. And in the beginning of fourth year, they'll be starting their major project. Minor projects, they are doing it in the college. Major project, they are doing it as an internship into various, uh, uh, what is it called, startups or uh, MNC companies, where these students will go work with them, uh, either internship, either paid or free. And uh, as a part of working them, they also uh, complete their project there and then come back here. 
the advantage is once the student are doing project in internship in their companies those people will be observing these people's work and uh, if they are impressed they absorb them into placements i think that's the best way of connecting the the students directly to the industry rather than uh, regular placement right yes sir and also sir what will be the benefit of and career options after pursuing these new emerging courses there yeah, plenty as i'm just as i told you now in the year 23 24 even till 25 uh, the companies may absorb csc for software jobs csc it ece triple e but with the introduction of these uh, emerging courses like aml data science cyber security on all these branches in the from year 26 27 onwards these companies will become choosy there are plenty of students to do it they have got csc students they have got it students aml students data science students cyber security students that means they will have lot of options i think uh, according to the trend that we have in 23 they may slowly stop recruiting ece and triple e students into it sector whereby these emerging uh, students uh, those who are studying there they have a better advantage when compared to csc and it also i think that may happen in the year 26 27 28 and by the time you go to 30 companies will come and say we want only cyber security because we want somebody in security job somebody is doing an artificial intelligence they say they will say we want only artificial intelligence students so that kind of choose uh, choosing options will increase by the time we go 26 to 30 onwards but as of now uh, every student is involved in getting a job but these students when they pass out in 26 27 28 they have better opportunities better packages because they are specialized in courses they are doing emerging courses will definitely help them to get better opportunities Yes, sir. And also, sir, how many projects does the student get to work on in his engineering uh, course, sir? Here we are uh, giving them in our college every semester one project through Coursera, and uh, two projects, uh, one project in third year, second semester, one major project in uh, final year. But otherwise, right from first year onwards, every semester they'll be doing one online uh, uh, project. So that's why they'll be getting used to that, and they'll become. close to 10 projects they are doing by the end of four okay sir thank you thank you for your valuable time sir and if, by concluding the interview i would request for you to suggest some of uh, the current students and also the new students who are aspiring to join next year so what all should be included or what quality should be inculcated in before uh, joining in engineering course very nice uh, students uh, in this modern time 21 22 23 most of them are saying that we want to join a computer science course they are still preferring the conventional computer science course but uh, my dear students please remember by the time 27 28 29 uh, companies will start uh, looking for specialized courses emerging courses into their platforms somebody if a company is working on artificial intelligence they will not prefer a computer science students they will prefer artificial intelligence students somebody is looking for security jo- jobs they will prefer cyber security students somebody is working on machine learning they will prefer machine learning students than computer science students so in 2026 27 28 placements these things matter a lot so at least from sec- next year onwards if you are looking for admissions please join in some good courses like artificial intelligence machine learning data science at the most cyber security but you can avoid branches like iot and other things because there are purely it related courses uh, there are some courses which are not very good so you can avoid them but a ml data science these are all in things i think that will definitely be there and uh, for all those students who are looking for a good high end package good jobs i request you to make sure that you have at least one certificate course for every semester that you do that means in engineering there are eight semesters if there are eight certification courses that you are doing what certification courses again it all depends for example you are in second year what are all industry they are all new modern technologies are coming you can talk to them you can see the net you can study you can google and do those courses what happens is your regular curriculum of four years and your job will not exactly match anywhere 
but if we can do along with this btech courses some modern what industry are now looking for those courses if you do it uh, i think definitely you will have a better package and uh, somebody who's into coding right from first year onwards focus on that take part in hacker rank and uh, various other uh, world ranking competitions most of the companies uh, will call you if you are in a good rank they will call you straight away for interview without any other things and uh, there are acute shortage of uh, good coders in the industry so i request you to please focus on that whatever you study study with passion and uh, be an expert in that particular field it need not be computer science alone it can be electronics electrical anything i think then you will definitely shine thank you sir thank you for your uh, valuable suggestions to the students sir i hope this interview will be definitely helpful for the students who are aspiring to join next year thank you sir thank you for your time sir right then all the best god bless you thank you sir